The issue of compulsory land acquisition by government is yet to get to its conclusion, with different sections of the public having mixed reactions over the matter. Last month, the ruling NRM caucus was summoned by President Museveni, who wanted to get the legislators' say on the bill. Before Parliament, is a bill seeking the approval of Parliament to amend Article 26 that will empower government to take possession immediately after payment of an amount that has been determined by the chief government valuer. According to Lands Minister Betty Amongi, government is experiencing a lot of delays in pursuing government projects which have resulted into government losing a lot of money. And this is where delays have been taking place. Is that when the chief government valuer determines the value and pays you the amount, the landowner runs to court after running to court, then gets a court injunction and delays government program. So what we are trying to cure is that immediately we, the chief government valuer has determined the value of land. Then government will take possession, work will proceed, but you, the only dispute that will be left for court to determine is whether or not the additional amount you want, the court determination is given opportunity for you to resolve either through negotiation or through court, but the work must continue. After diverse views from the caucus members, with some disagreeing with the bill, a seven-member team of lawyers, headed by the Vice President Edward Chonukasekandi, was selected to study and harmonize the different views of several legislators and members of the public over their reservations on the Land Amendment Bill 2017. Other committee members include the Minister of Lands, Betty Amongi, Minister for Constitutional Affairs, and the Attorney General. Others are members of Parliament who are not ministers, but lawyers such as Gesta Mioga, Dents Obua, Robin Arwakojo, and Jackson Kafuz Karugaba. The government chief whip Ruth Nankabirwa says the committee is expected to report back next week to update members. To harmonize the issues as they came out from the caucus on whether we should amend the constitution or amend the land acquisition. However, Nankabirwa refuted allegations that the ongoing countrywide land sensitization campaign by President Museveni would compromise the committee's inquiry. So the president has gone to speak to the consumers of these laws themselves so that they are given an opportunity to ask questions when he's in the studios, to ask none other than the head of state. So there is no way that that one is now undermining the committee. The committee will report probably on Monday on the harmonization, but sensitization on land must continue. It must continue because land touches people's lives. The contentious bill that has faced resistance from both NLM lawmakers and the opposition seeks to amend Article 26 of the Constitution, providing for compulsory acquisition of land with an amendment to allow government use the land without prior compensation. Bernard Iga, UBC TV, in Kampala.